Let's talk about IceCap Biological Media. What is that stuff? What is it? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos, and I'm here with David Dakin, owner of Coralview. How are you doing, Bear? Oh, good. good All day, right. Carlos. Good. So um, um, we have IceCap Biological Media. This is a, uh, an arrangement of ceramic spears, basically, is what it is in a nutshell. It has, uh, it's very porous, um, has a lot of surface area. Uh, basically, what we're trying to do is, is colonize uh, beneficial bacteria in our aquarium that helps lower nutrients. Mm. But, you know, we, we live in this uh, hobby now where there's very little live rock anymore, Carlos. So um, we also like to do different things with aquascaping with a lot of a negative space. So where do we, where do we get this bacteria and how do we, how do we keep it and colonize it? And that's where these little babies can come in. So what bacteria are we talking about though? What, what, what is it? Well, the bacteria, you know, you can, you can, there's different manufacturers providing a, a liquid form of, of bacteria that you eat we can seed these, these, uh, spears with, um, mm. I, I personally use one from fauna, fauna marin is, mm. uh, it makes a, a bacteria and that will help colonize. And once the bacteria gets growing, you want to be able to, to feed that bacteria. Mm. And then, okay. then you maybe you're looking at, at a carbon dose and solution to cal- okay. keep Let's feeding bring it, this. Let's bring it back to basics though. What is that bacteria? What does it do? Why well, do I bacteria, need the bacteria? The bacteria feeds on on the harmful pollutants in our aquarium. That's yeah. that's what you're you're okay. trying to, to get a, a beneficial amount of this bacteria to feed on phosphates and, and nitrates that, that help bring these <laughs> levels down. Okay, so we're talking about the nitrogen cycle, bacteria that feeds yep. on ammonia and then that that mm-hmm. waste, there's another bacteria that feeds on the nitrites, and then that waste turns into nitrates, which another bacteria feeds on, and then also yep. there's phosphates, and there is other bacteria. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yep. And when you're talking about negative space, you're talking about no rock. It's more a lot, a lot more open, open. areas. Yep. Now, mm-hmm. what does that have to do with the bacteria? Well, it's just if, if you have less live rock, you need some, some other way to, to colonize it, this bacteria into does the bacteria tiny little spores does the bacteria live in the on the surface of the rock lives in the rock where, how does that work that both it'll live on the surface and, and in, inside the rock you know and that's that's a big problem nowadays is that there isn't a lot of live rock out there and we're mm-hmm. using this man-made rock and okay. uh, even from our our own internal uh testing here um we 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 did some testing where we sawed open some of this uh man-made rock and it looks the same as it did from when it was new the wow. surface the surface has uh you know grown some nice uh uh coralline algae and, and looks like it may be a live rock but you compare that to uh original live rock that may be millions of years old and you break that open and you can actually see all the pores and crevices where some of these uh different type of of animals to live in so if you look at this thing closely where i can see and you know what i mean i'm getting a little old right now so i gotta take my glasses <laughs> <Me too. laughs> i gotta put you gotta put glasses yeah. on i gotta take mine uh, off but there's like a whole bunch of little pellets together in here and those pellets um they're not few you know it's not like blocks that are fused together where you make this mm. solid thing but they're like pellets so there's a lot of crevices in between yeah and what i'm guessing is the water gets through to there which means mm-hmm. bacteria gets through and then bacteria gets to grow on those on that surface so it's not just the surface of Correct. this sphere but it's also the surface of ev- the exposed surface of every single tiny little spear that is in there and if you actually yep. if you do this if i do this i'm going to do this real quick and if i grab this like this, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go and just flow. I can blow right into 
through the sphere, it's, it mm -hmm. doesn't take that much effort, which means that if I can do that, then water will eventually seep through it and feed the bacteria in there. Yeah. So we know that the reason why we need the bio, the bio, the media is because we have to increase the number of bacteria that can process the nutrients. The more bacteria yep. there's in the water, the less nutrients you're going to have, which is kind of like the natural way of dealing with nutrients. Um, uh, so that's the second reason why you would use the biomedia is because you're right. having a nutrient problem. Okay, yep. now let me ask you a question, which is something that I hear all the time. And it's like, hey, so I got a ticket, a support ticket, and it says, hey, I added the, bio, the biomedia yesterday, mm -hmm. and today my nitrates are higher. And I'm like, why? Let's let's answer that question. Why did it not work? Well, it takes time. <laughs> it's, it's basically, <laughs> this doesn't work overnight. It's uh, yeah. you're trying to replicate something that that nature is is taking millions of years to do, and um, we're doing our best with adding the bacteria and providing a space for the bacteria to colonize and thrive in. But it, it's not going to happen overnight. It, it's so, going to take some time. So the one thing to remember is that this media does not come with the bacteria. This is kind of right. like, this is like, a, let's put it this way. This is an empty building that still needs to get populated. You mm -hmm. still have to, Correct. you still have to go and put the people in there. And, right. um, you know, so this is an empty building at surface that is empty and then you put it in the tank and bacteria will get attracted to this empty space where they mm -hmm. can grow and then they will thrive there. So it's yeah. not something that is going to work overnight. It's not something that is going to work in a week. It's probably something that is not going to work in a month. If you're yeah. doing this, you're doing it correctly. And if you're doing it correctly, that means let's, let's be real. Anything fast it's probably because, it, you know, it, you know, anything good takes time. So exactly. this takes time to do that. Okay. So you must add bacteria. So yeah. let's get to the, let's get to how do we properly prepare this media to add it to the tank? And the first thing I know is that you should rinse it and rinse this yeah. brand new one. You rinse it, we rinse it with RODI water and everything, mm -hmm. and that should be fine. But then the second step is to actually something that I didn't know before that. And what's the second step, Dave? That's, that's where you want to soak it in some type of uh, beneficial bacteria. Let it, give it some time to soak up that bacteria directly in, its, in that content of the, the liquid bacteria. So I'm just going to grab a, a, a bottle of Fauna Marine Bacto Blend. And I'm going to yep. pour that into a container and then I'm just going to put this in there and I'm going to leave it there overnight. So it just, yep. it just so saturates itself. It sucks up mm -hmm. the, you know, let the water get through all the crevices and everything like that. Yep. Okay. So we're done with that. And after 24 hours, then you can grab the same mesh bag that it came with mm -hmm. and just grab that and dump it right into your sump. There you go. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Now it comes with a nice little that, drawstring bag. Exactly. No metal, because again, you're talking about salt water. If you have something yep. that has a zipper, like a, like a laundry bag it has a zipper, mm -hmm. then it's not going to work because it's going to rust. Yep. Now there are some benefits to using that mesh bag. The first benefit is that, is that um, uh, the uh, mesh bag is, it's easy. It's quick. Yep. It's easy. And it's not too much work. You don't have to spend any money. Everything is already there, but what's the main drawback of using that mesh bag and just putting it in the bag well what, just what throwing it? it in your sump it, it still leaves the area for detritus to to colonize underneath it and around it you know okay. you figure you, you think about the water flowing through the sump and and just all the, the detritus and things that and that'll become a magnet for it basically mm, okay. just by throwing it in it so how do we prevent that from happening well, we got a couple of little solutions like this little thing we offer here is this, uh, it's, it's called a tower. I'm so sorry, if you look that looks it, like Superman's, uh, you know, the palace <laughs> of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know this what I'm talking kryptonite. about? The, the, yeah, the solitude, the palace of solitude or whatever yep. they call that in there. That's actually <laughs> kind of cool. But what yeah. does it do? So basically it's a nice little way to, to just drop your, your, the bio balls on. And we also have them in blocks. Oh, so okay. that you can arrange them and there's no detritus. The water can flow through it. The detritus can't settle around 
this sack that's just thrown and sitting at the bottom of the sump. Water so he keeps the... through it, keeps everything nice and clean, mm -hmm. very well um, in terms of how the water can flow across and through. It's a lot of contact surface for the water to, to get to this media. And that it allows makes it convenient. And that allows the water from your tank to go through and passing yep. where the bacteria is. So the bacteria has mm -hmm. food to feed on. And as it yep. feeds, it reproduces. As it reproduces, mm -hmm. it, it feeds more and the, and the nutrients start to go down. So yep. that's great. So you can keep it organized. Obviously, the drawback of that is that you have to spend a little money for that organizer because it's sold separately. Okay. Yeah. So that's, you know, I'm, I, you know, we're I think here to give you. It's a, it's a nice convenience too, yes. you know, just yes. being able to. And one thing I'd like to, to mention is for stores, you know, when you're, when you're populating a, a new tank, you need mm. that beneficial bacteria. Scrap so a store do. could actually come in that's been having these in their tank or even a friend, pull a couple of them off. They're nice and seeded and ready. And then mm -hmm. add that to a new system. You're helping make that new system uh, thrive with beneficial bacteria. Which that brings us into the maintenance, because even though they're ceramic balls and everything like this, they mm -hmm. still do require some type of maintenance in there. So the first thing that we need to remember is that um, uh, you should rinse the media, whether it is the yep. block or where is the sphere balls or anything. You should rinse them at least once a year. OK, mm -hmm. and you should rinse. Don't rinse them with the same salt water. Don't right. rinse don't them with. Use, right. Yeah. Don't, no don't use RODI water. Don't use fresh water. And definitely don't use soap. So you're just, right. you grab it. When you do a water change, all you're doing is grab some of that water, grab that bag or grab yep. the, the, the thing and then shake just go it. up and down, shake it. Yep. And that's all you need to do and put it back into the tank. All mm -hmm. right. So that's it. Now, how often should they exchange this media, Dave? Uh, really, it, it, it it could go forever, you know, it, it doesn't degrade. This stuff doesn't break down or turn to mush. As long as you keep up with, with knocking that detritus off, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, once a year or so, mm -hmm. this stuff should last you a lifetime. Yeah, which what you can do in that. But, but unfortunately, even though the stuff lasts you a, land, a lifetime, what happens with bacteria is at some point, the bacteria, one different types of bacteria, they're always at war. It's this mm -hmm. is nature. So one type of bacteria will eventually kill everything else. So at that point, you have media that just has one type of bacteria inside. So at that point, it's it's better to reseed it or to take it out and replace it with something new. So we usually say about five years. So after about five okay. years, you should replace, you should grab this. Now, the correct way of replacing the media is do not take all of it out mm. and then put new media in there because that means you're taking all the bacteria out and you're putting no bacteria in. So what we recommend is to grab half of the media and then take it out and replace it. And then a few months later, allow for that new media to get populated with bacteria. And a few months later, then you take the other half and then you replace it. So you're staggering. So, you know, if you're replacing the media, you know, do one, two and a half years and the other one, five years later, you know, two and a half later, and you keep going back and forth and that should be fine. Same thing with mm -hmm. the same thing with cleaning it. You don't have to clean all the media all at once. What you want to you, you could do is, you know, June, July, you do one side and December, you do the other side, July, and you go back and forth, back and forth. So you so, that's how you do it. So Dave, um, uh, this is biological media. It's a great way of keeping nutrients down easy and natural yep. without having to add any chemicals. You know, the only thing you have to do it, is it, add it, bacteria. Yeah. It's a really simple and effective tool. Um, yes, exactly. It, yes. And that allows you to keep your tank with a lot of negative states for those people that like a very simple tank in there with a lot of fish and corals, but not much mm -hmm. rock. Then you can put this nicely organized biospheres or blocks in the sump and you get the same result yep. again. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to go over to support that coralv.com. One of the reps in there is going to be able to help you. And then if you want to, you can always head over to our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.